Today, what we're going to look at is a new AI workflow to basically clone myself and use this to generate videos that can generate me traffic. Now, this is an example of a video I created just a couple of days ago, literally one day ago, as you can see right there. And it's already on to get 24,000 SEO traffic in just 24 hours using the same process I'm going to do today. But the thing is, this took a lot of effort to create, whereas the method that I'm going to show you can be completely automated with AI. And it's absolutely amazing how powerful this is. Let's get into it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go on to a tool called argil.ai, as you can see right here. And you can see that I've already generated a avatar. If we click on edit, you can see that I can edit my body language. I can edit my typical gestures. I can edit the linked voice to it as well. Pretty amazing that I've just cloned myself digitally using this process. And this is the future. Right? Let's be 100% honest with each other. Most content writers have already been replaced with AI, right? Typically, the output that I can get from Claude using some of the workflows I've shown on my YouTube channel is better than 90% it's hired in the past. That's just a fact based on my experience, right? Now, the same with YouTube videos. I think this is only going to become more powerful. This is literally the worst it's ever going to be. Give it six months, give it 12 months. We can basically clone ourselves and create amazing AI videos that rank really nicely and also generate a lot of traffic. And bear in mind, inside these videos, you can have CTAs, your funnels, your affiliate links, your info products, etc., to generate more income for your business. So with that said, let's go into my videos over here and we're going to create a new video. I'm going to click on create video here. And then you can choose between an educational video, a promotional video and a link. Now LinkedIn short, sure, I'm pretty sure you could just use that for YouTube and that sort of thing. Promotional would be kind of like a sales video, VSL, that sort of thing. And then finally, we've got educational, which is what I'm going to go for right now. And we're going to go for landscape. Now you can see once I've clicked on the education, the landscape video, I get different options. And I'm going to go with this lad right here, Julian Goldie. And from here, it says, do you wish to write or record the script? So we can record or upload an audio file to generate the video, or we can type text in and write a perfect script for the video. Now, if we click on generate new text, you can see that the word count for that is pretty short, which means it's going to be a very short video. That's only 93 words, as we can see right there. And so wouldn't it be the best for generating a video? If we go back and we'll go to create video, educational, landscape, click on myself, we can actually just click on audio, click on use the avatar's voice, and then we can insert clips right here, audio clips. These are each 20 seconds long, and we can upload a maximum of 20, which means that if we've got 20 seconds long for a video, and we've got 20 clips that we can add to the video, that essentially means that we can have a video that's almost seven minutes long. Is that long enough for a YouTube video? I would say probably. Like so for example, if we go back to some of my old videos, you can see some of them are just like four or five minutes long, as you can see right here. And so that's not too bad at all. Here's an example of a clip. I'd love to know your first impression of Argil. It's actually pronounced Argil, apparently, not Argil. So we're going to delete that. And then I'll click on add a new clip. From here, we're going to click on record audio. But before we can get into that, we want to make sure that we have a script ready to go. Now, the other thing that I would say about ranking your content with YouTube videos is that you don't necessarily need a long video to actually rank. So, for example, if we type in a keyword like how to create a topical map, as you can see right here, if we scroll down, you can see that my 58 second video right here on how I create topical maps for one click using Claude is ranking. And that was again, only created a day ago. So you can rank content with shorter clips and still get that ranking on the first page of Google. You don't need to have like a really long clip. So there's a couple of ways we can do this. We can record a video or we'll click on record audio over here. Today, what you can learn is how to grow your business with SEO. So I'm just going to delete this. Seems to be a little bit buggy when I click on record audio. Let's try again. To create a topical map, make sure that you cluster your competitor site map into relevant categories and pages. You can easily do this with chat. The power of this is that you can easily automate it in a few seconds and you save a lot of money along the way. All right, so we've recorded that clip right there. I'm just going to play it back, make sure it's got it properly. So I've recorded an 18 second clip right there. I can also add a new clip. So let's say I want to create like a one minute video. 
I can click on record audio over here and we shall say to create a topical map with ChatGPT, all you need to do is go into ChatGPT and say, give me 30 semantically relevant but unique topics under the niche in the right language in an easy to read table. Each topic must be relevant and semantically relevant to the topic. Then keep each topic three to five words maximum. All right, so we've recorded part two of the video right here and you can see how easy it is to get to a 58 second clip that would rank on Google. The other thing I would say here, right, is that if you look at other platforms where you can post videos, for example, like let's look at TikTok.com, you can see that TikTok itself gets 165 million. Now, obviously a lot of that SEO traffic that it's getting is branded search. But you can also see, for example, stuff like fantasy football is ranking sixth on the first page, and that video is generating 47,548 SEO traffic. So not only can you get traffic from YouTube, as I can show you right here, but you can also generate traffic using automated AI videos on platforms like TikTok. Just check their content guidelines to make sure it's okay to post AI content. And so we've got both clips here. And just as an example, I'm going to create a very short clip, but you could make this much longer. You can add 20 20 second clips inside Argyle AI, which means that you can generate videos that are 6.6 .6 minutes long. And then we're going to click create from here. It's uploading the clips and you can see how it's generating the content. What's interesting here is you can change like the camera, you can change the body language, you can change which gestures you use. You can even add AI subtitles as well to the video. So let's say it's a short, you could add subtitles that way. It, and it's, it's scary how crazy this is. If we skip between the clips at the bottom over here, you can see what it's like. So we'll gesture one, gesture two, we'll hit generate and it also just confirms how many credits you want to use, right? So you can see generating this video will consume your credit below. Please confirm. So it's going to use 0.63 credits. I've got 25 credits left on my current plan. So this is using less than one credit per video because it's quite short. The longer it is, the more credits it's going to use. We'll hit confirm and it is generating the video right here. Now I'm going to wait for that to generate and then we'll come back to it later. Now, whilst we're waiting for that to generate, you can see it's already been six minutes and still not generated. So it does take quite a long time to generate the content. Another method that you can use is something like this. So if you pull up this video example, this was generated with InVideo and it's a faceless automation where the whole script, the video itself, all the editing was done with AI. Let me play back a short example. All right, folks, gather around. Let's talk backlinks. Imagine the internet as a massive interconnected web Ironic, right? Websites are like little towns, all vi So the actual editing is pretty nice. The voiceover is better than my voice. That was published 12 days ago. It's already got 45 views and it literally required zero effort at all. It was just like a one click plug and play. You might also be wondering like, how do you monetize these videos? How do you make money with it? Well, I don't think you can make money by monetizing your videos ads. I just don't think that's an effective way to generate money from video automation. But what I would say is the best way to make money from this is to send traffic to your funnels. The more traffic you get to the funnels and the more people that know about your stuff, the more money you're going to make, right? So if you include links inside your description, like you see I do in every single video and you send them to your funnels that actually generate traffic and generate leads, then you make more money as a result. And it's very simple to do that. You can actually just change the upload defaults on your YouTube channel. So if you go to your settings and then go to upload defaults, you can see that my links are already inserted inside the description so that every time I upload a video or from say in video, which is also another faceless AI automation is automatically going to send traffic to my funnel, which means more money. So we've covered how to find relevant video topics. We've covered how to generate the video and basically clone yourself. We've covered how to record the audio, how to, and we've covered how to monetize your video as well. Pretty simple stuff, but incredibly powerful. All right, so we have the video ready to go, as you can see right here. This took about 10 minutes to generate. If we click on it, we can switch between the different body languages as well. So if I click on gesture, we can actually hover over the different gestures inside the video. One thing that I would say I totally messed up on here is that if you're going to upload videos, make sure you're not looking in different directions. So if you're going to enough a script or anything like that, make sure that your eyes don't move and you're looking directly at the camera during the video because you can see here my eyes sort of dart about when I'm sharing the video and how I'm talking and that sort of thing but it's not bad so we're going to play back an example here and we'll see what it's like 
Let's hit play on the preview. You can easily do this with ChatGPT. The lip syncing is a little bit off. I will say that. But if you had editing in between the scenes, let's say, for example, you were talking to the camera, but then it chops it up and it edits it and it inserts different overlay or like canned footage in, in between the clips, then this will be very convincing and very hard to tell that you're an AI. Bear in mind as well, this is the worst it's going to be. So we'll keep playing it now. And the power of this is that you can easily automate it in a few seconds. Yeah, the lip syncing is terrible here. I'm going to be 100% honest with you. But again, if you edited this with footage in between, then I think it would be quite hard to tell. So if you had like short switches, that's all. One thing I'd also say here is so that before you actually waste time generating the video, you can actually preview it in this section. It comes out a little bit blurry as you can see, but you can preview, okay, what's the body language like? So if we change the gesture like this one to, for example, and then we'll hit preview. To create a top of map with ChatGPT, all you need to do is go into ChatGPT and say, out of all the avatars that I got, this is probably the most realistic one. But yeah, just make sure when you record the avatar clip that you're speaking directly to the camera, that you don't move your eyes around, etc. You can also have like offset frames, which means that when you're chopping the video up, if you notice that the body language doesn't match the exact moment, you say the words, then go with that. Right? So you can offset it using that process. I've not really tested it, but it's something else you can do. And then you can also edit body language examples right there by just recording new gestures, right? So you can have new gestures, different hand movements, etc., and customize it that way. Now, if you want to train your own avatar, all you do is you go to your avatar section, hit train an avatar, and then from there you can submit the details. I think this created an avatar probably within about seven hours, something like that. So once you've uploaded the footage, it'll probably take about seven hours to get the avatar back and good to go. So then once you're done, you can click download. We can download the file right here. So you can see it's loading. And then if we open it up, we have the AI version of me right here, ready to go. And if you want to create a short clip, the other thing that I would say is just change the layout from landscape to portrait. I actually think this would be much better for shorts because you can have more edits in there and it's going to have less time for people to realize whilst they're watching the video that lip sync is a bit off and that sort of thing. Pretty amazing stuff though. Very scary. I think in the same way the human copywriters got hit so much last year, I can see that in the future, YouTubers will get hit in the same way because it's so easy to create and emulate content, right? And so maybe in the future, what might be the most relevant option is number one, having a blue tick. Number two, platforms disallowing AI content or not monetizing it. And then finally, I think the live streams will only become more popular because AI video is so easy to emulate, right? It's very easy for me to clone myself, create a video now, bear in mind, give it six to 12 months, it's gonna be even crazier. Especially when things like, for example, chat GPT Sora come out and the quality of AI video improves so much. If you wanna see more videos like this, just let me know. I've also tested things like Luma Dream Labs, Runway Gen 3, InVideo, et cetera. And I think this is a huge opportunity for SEOs to take advantage. Bear in mind, if you're implementing this, you're probably in the top 1% already. Now, some people are gonna ask like, what are the best keywords to go for? And the way that I would figure that out is looking at platforms like TikTok and YouTube, then look at the keywords they're ranking for, right? So if you wanna figure out what videos are gonna rank really well, what video topics could you make for your niche to generate more money and traffic to your business? Then if you go to organic keywords for say TikTok, we'll wait for that to load. We'll do the same for YouTube as well. And then if you go inside Ahrefs and you type the keyword as whatever topic you want to rank for, let's say, for example, you're in the AI niche, right? Then you would type in, for example, chat GPT inside Ahrefs. We can hit show results like so and see what it's ranking. For. We can do the same with TikTok. So let's change the keyword to chat GPT. You can customize this to whatever niche you're in inside Ahrefs. So just type in the website inside Site Explorer, go to organic keywords filter by keyword, type in your keyword right there, hit show results. And now you can see what videos are ranking well for this particular topic. And now from here, what you want to do is just filter down to shorts, right? Because it's going to be much easier and faster to create short video clips than it is to generate long video clips. So if we change the contain section to shorts, so keyword 
equals a topic relevant to your niche. And then URL contains shorts like you can see inside this URL right here. We'll hit share results. And this is just going to filter down to shorter video clips that are actually ranking on Google for relevant topics to our niche. And now you can see it's filtered down all the shorts that are actually ranking on Google. Like for example, how to add ChatGPT to iPhone keyboard is ranking number one on Google right there. We could create a video short around that quite easily. Same for all these keywords here. So for example, chat GPT in Canva hack, that short is ranking number one. Do the same one on TikTok. You don't need to worry about that so much. You can just filter down to the keyword and then you can upload your video to TikTok and rank it that way. So for example, chat GPT demo, this video right here is generating 129 traffic and you're good to go from there. Same for this, how to use chat GPT for free. This YouTube short is ranking number eight on the first page of Google. Bear in mind, as I've already shown you, YouTube just ranks so well on Google. So this is an opportunity for SEOs. I don't know how long it's going to last, but yeah, there you go. So thanks so much for watching. What I'm actually going to do is plug the video examples that I've generated with both Argil AI and NVIDIA inside this SAP. So you can preview them and check them out if you want to. Also, I've created an SAP step-by-step. -step, so I've taken all the steps from today put them into a logical order that you can follow if your team or you want to implement this. And additionally, what I've done is create this YouTube AI SEO checklist where you can basically just follow the steps and tick it off if you want to rank videos using this method as well. One of the beautiful things about this and the SEO agencies won't tell you is that you don't need a fancy website or to invest a lot of resources into building up a website to rank with this, right? You can just create the video from day one, upload it to YouTube from day one and start ranking from day one, right? And then you're actually ranking inside the YouTube algorithm and Google and even AI models like you can see right here. You can see I'm ranking with my videos directly inside these AI models like the Plex. It's such a crazy cheat code that nobody's talking about. So what I'm gonna do is take the SAP from today and I'm gonna create a new category inside my free SEO course, links in the comments and description. This will be called Agile AI Test 1. And if you want the SAP, the examples and the checklist from today, then I will plug that into the video notes right there, completely free. And if you want to get a free SEO strategy session on how to get more leads, traffic and sales with SEO and learn how we take websites from zero to 145,000 visitors a month, feel free to check that out. Links in the comments and description. Most SEO consultants are charging you thousands of dollars per hour for a call like this. We just give it for free to you because we want to help you. So if you want a free SEO domination plan, discover the secrets of link building and answer any questions you have, feel free to book that in links in the comments and description. Appreciate you watching. Bye-bye.